हेलो एवरीवन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज ऑनलाइन पेमेंट फ्रॉड डिटेक्शन मीन्स वेन वेन एवर वी वी यूज द ऑनलाइन पेमेंट और डिजिटली पेमेंट टुडे वी मोस्टली यूज द डिजिटली पेमेंट सो विच टाइप्स ऑफ ऑनलाइन फ्रॉड हैपन मोर सो इन दिस प्रोग्राम आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू द विच फ्रॉड इज मोर देन अदर फर्स्ट वी अपलोड दिस लाइब्रेरी पांडस लाइब्रेरी नंपाय मैट प्लॉटली फॉर विजुअलाइजेशन सेम थिंग इज अ सी बॉर्ड देन इज स्प्रेड द डेटा ट्रेनिंग एंड टेस्टिंग डेटा देन आई एम यूजिंग द मॉडल इन एस्केलर डॉट थ्री इम्पोर्ट डिसीजन थ्री क्लासीफायर इसे डिसीजन डी क्लासीफाइड इन यूज फॉर द नॉट इजीली टेक द डिसीजन इफ द पर्सन कैटेगोरिकल वेरिएबल दिस इज द डेटा सेट ऑनलाइन फ्रॉड वेयर आई एम गिविंग द पाथ ऑफ द डेटा सेट ऑनलाइन फ्रॉड डॉट सीएसवी ही और शी थिंक्स सो मेनी टाइम दिस इज द आउटपुट is a show the five rows because i have given the df dot add so there is a uh, different types of column like a type in type uh, column value is uh, payment transfer cash payment and other also variable also used for this then amount then name organize old balance new balance name destination The, all these are column name next is information i want to take the information of the data set that is which types of data set so it give the integer step is integer type types is the objective amount is floor type name or is all this is the also object type all these are that it's give the all types so information this type of data set describe it show the me, uh, statics values so these are the statics values count mean standard deviation minimum and all these are the statics values show the numeric column only it show the numeric column if we give the include is equal to all that in give the also the alpha this is called the vertical column also that time it it uh, extract only numeric value next is uh, see the null value so there is no any null value next i will see the transaction types which type of transaction values so it count the transaction value or get married with so there is the payment type is 240 cash out is 120 cash in in 109 transfer is 70 type debit is 28 types so it give the all column values total but sometime we see that the person got married next i am using the visualization for using the plot where i am using the pie plot some problem facing some problem so you can see that payment types pay this payment side debit is very less then transfer cash in then cash out and so you can see that payment types mostly payment type is have the huge values so you can also understand by the plot next is the also type where i am using the count plot it count the label so you, so first payment is a this is the payment types 
then transfer cash out types in compare the payment then second is cash out then cash in last the and transfer then debit so it show the all values how much above the payment is above that 200 cash transfer is above than uh, 50 and uh, cash out it above than 100 debit it is like a 30 and cash in also the less than 100 next is it also i am using the uh, plot where i am using the column name column name values is, uh, sorry column name is a fraud it count the value and show, uh, show the pi plot by using the uh, seaboard next uh, count the value the data is fraud how much the data is fraud and not on or fraud so is fraud is a column name where is a fraud or no fraud fraud is one and no fraud is zero so there is uh, no any fraud value but only one is um, fraud values so very less number of fraud value next is drop the value how to drop the value df drop there is name organized and name destinies there is no any use of this data set so that's why we drop this value x variable where I pass the df is the value and drop dot drop this is these are the two column name name organized name and and x is is equal to equal to y x is equal to one it means that if when we change the drop the data the data save in x value and print the x so you can see that there is a two four six nine nine column now after drop it show the nine column and in the first there is a in first data set there is a 11 column two four six eight ten and 11 column when we drop two column that remain the nine column next is also it using the c bond and uh, type is is it, it show the type uh, with the how much the uh, fraud value in payment when we pay payment the value then how much the fraud value and if we use the debit then how much the fraud or not fraud so it count the or the value so there is a is a zero so you you can see there is a very less pink is uh, one means is a uh, fraud values and zero means no fraud value so first uh, it types it show the there is a, a very less fraud value there is also very less and uh, in it also fourth level um, types there is also is a very less so you can see that
so fraud, fraud value is very less and blue is also so, uh, show the not fraud next is we change the uh, categorical data into numeric way. so uh, df is a uh, variable name type is a column name where um, i pass the dot map is function which categorize the data and this is the key value cash in then one i give the number one payment is two cash in three transfer four debit five so all these data we convert into one two three four five so you can see that it convert the data two two four one two so there is a five next we uh, spl um, splitting the data into array so there we use the column type amount old balance and new balance because uh, where we, it is using the dot sign also so that's why we convert it the array format so you can see it is using the if we pass the y so it show the call row is so that is the difference between next we training the data where we x using the x train x text x uh, y train y test equals train test underscore test train test is bit <coughs> where we pass the x and y value and test size is 0 0.2 means that 80 percent data is training and 20 percent is testing data and random state is zero then i use the method create the method dtc where pass the decision tree classify alias i am using the alias you can say then we fit the training data dtc dot fit where pass the x train training data and y train next we define uh, predict the data so this is the variable where i pass the method dtc and dot predict extra test and dtc dot score it show the data how much accuracy of the data set so it show the 98 percent is accuracy of this data set so it give the accuracy the score of the data set now i want to predict the new data set if we uh, pass the new data that uh, this data is a fraud or not fraud so where, where i uh, input some types of box column where i am using the type is a type 3 type 3 means i think type 3 the type 3 means transfer if i transfer the data this is the amount and this is my old amount and new amount i show the 0, 0.0 now it predict predicts the data this is the variable i have taken the new data frame and np dot array where i pass the all these values types amount old amount and new amount now i want to see that the, if i transfer the data the data is uh, giving the fraud value or not fraud value so zero means no fraud there is no fraud if i transfer the data so there is a no fraud because zero present uh, represent for the 
no fraud and one present for the fraud